Next question is from Ander Beth. Are there any common situations where a caloric deficit would not result in weight loss? Yes. Now, here it is. Ready? First of all, if you're in a calorie deficit, your body is making up for those calories by burning tissue. But how can you not weight, lose weight from that happening? Gaining more water weight. This is where you may see your weight stay the same because you're holding more water even though you're losing body fat or even muscle. That being said, if you are in a deficit – your body has to make up the difference, okay? So let me explain this very simple science because I know there's people in the wellness space that deficits don't matter, and which is not true. That's so false. It's ridiculous. This is like one law, right, that you can't get around. It's literally a law of the universe where energy cannot get created nor destroyed. In other words, it gets transferred. We can't just create it out of nothing. If we did, if, shit, if there was a way to do this, we would have infinite energy and, and become like, you know, interstellar beings well, or whatever. That would be awesome. Yeah, it doesn't work. So- Here's the deal. Let's say your body's burning 2,000 calories. So that's how many calories your body is burning right now, 2,000, and you take in 1,500. How did your body burn 2,000 if you only took in 1,500? It took it from itself. It burned its own tissue. Usually body fat can come from other tissues, but it's usually body fat. So if you're in a calorie deficit, you will lose tissue. Your body is taking it from itself. But if the scale doesn't go down and you're like, what's going on? And you know for sure you're in a deficit, it's water. And this one really messes people up. I can't tell you how many times it would mess up clients of mine because they come back and be like, oh my God, I gained two pounds or three pounds or I lost three pounds. I ate like a crazy over the weekend and I lost three pounds. What does this mean? Or, or vice versa. And it's like, okay, let's give it a few weeks and see if it sticks. Because uh, I don't know about you guys, but my, my body weight could fluctuate five pounds in one day. Mm -hmm. Just from water. So uh, this was something. I, so this was something I always knew, but I didn't communicate it a lot until I went through those three years of competing, and I had to track and measure, and I was so diligent about everything, so consistently, and I saw holy shit, mm. how much. So I actually got to a place where I was fluctuating nine pounds uh, uh, in the in the night. So I would go night. Now, mind you, I'm doing a gallon and a half to two gallons. You're of a water, big dude, lots and of I'm muscle. Big, yeah, two hundred and thirty pounds. So that's a lot for the average person but it is not that far off like three to five pounds the average person easily can fluctuate and that is a lot three to five pounds in a night you know north or south could really fuck somebody up that, totally. that, that's in a, that's busting their ass on losing weight and then they get on the scale the next morning hoping that all that hard work they did the last two days is going to show mm -hmm. and it goes up talk about really discouraging for somebody who's on a weight loss journey and then talk about what a terrible signal for them to be sent to then adjust what they're doing and this is where I, and this is why it became a mm -hmm. thing that i started to communicate a lot about yeah, because, because people would they would all of a sudden change their yes, calories then off what is that they person attributed to fat so then that person freaks out that day they cut their calories even more so maybe reduce it you know another 500 when they didn't mm -hmm. need to they get on the treadmill now for an hour later on that day and they they totally send their their body a signal that they do not need to send and they just make it more difficult for themselves in the future and so you got to be careful of allowing a, a day or two of fluctuating up and then you add in things too like a, when uh you know if you're on your period that's going to change it's you add in a day where you just drank a little more water you add in a day where you had saltier foods so you had higher sodium intake mm -hmm. like all these things can make a difference on how much water you were stressed you have a stressful day at work so your body starts to yep. retain a little bit more water so all these factors can manipulate how much water your body ends up holding in a day or not or not releasing and a lot of times people allow that to dictate what they do uh, nutritionally and exercise wise and then they just make it worse for themselves yeah, this is the number one reason why extremely low carb diets uh became so popular it, it, it was not the only reason but it's the number one reason because you see very fast initial weight gain with a yeah, low carb diet. You don't diet. retain quite as much water uh, yeah, when you take the carbs. Oh, it's right a away. Lot. Every three grams of, of carbs that you intake, your body holds on to three ounces of water. Yeah. So you take somebody who's eating three, 400 grams of carbs every single day and do the math. That's you know how many ounces of water their body is not holding on oh, to I'll, now. I'll lose, I'll easily, if I cut my car, and I don't eat a lot of carbs anyway, but if I cut my carbs, I'll easily lose eight pounds within a week on mm -hmm. the scale, but I yeah. know it's, it's water. I'm not burning eight pounds of body fat, uh, in a week. So 
definitely, it's definitely important to consider that. But again, deficit or surplus mean, by the way, when people say it doesn't matter, either A, they're, they're totally negligent and ignorant and idiots, or B, they're confusing uh, what may be happening because yes, you can you can adjust you can change how many calories your body burns, which then makes it no longer a deficit or no longer a surplus. And then they'll come across and be like, no, calorie surplus or deficit doesn't matter because I ate the deficit. I didn't. I haven't lost any weight. Well, your body adjusted its burn. So again, the deficit or the surplus that ultimately it will make or break whether or not you gain or lose weight. So what you're saying is we can't create energy from nothing until we get a Tesseract. <laughs> yeah, totally. Okay. Hey, if you enjoyed that clip, you can find the full episode here or you can find other clips over here. And be sure to subscribe.